Two months ago, Oceana submitted 22,000 signatures to the Governor General in Belmopan. The petition is to trigger a referendum before any permission is given to explore or extract offshore oil in Belize. The review of those signatures should have been completed, and a response was due from the Elections and Boundaries Office on the 28th of August. But when we reached out to the Chief Elections Officer, Josephine Tamai, she told us, quote, the Attorney General, who is the principal legal advisor to the government, had written to Oceana stating the government's position on the verification. This is a legal matter I cannot comment on. We reached out to Attorney General Anthony Sylvester for a comment, but he didn't respond. We did speak with Oceana's Vice President for Belize, Janelle Chanona, who directed us back to the Attorney General. She said she can't speak on behalf of the government. So what will happen to the thousands of signatures that took such an extensive and exhausting drive to compile? We go back to our June interview with Chanona when she underscored that this is not just symbolism. At the end of the day, what this reiterates, uh, reminds and truly respects is that Belizeans um, since 2010 have wanted to be part of the conversation on offshore oil, part of the decision. And I think it is increasingly um, a point that this is environmental justice. At the end of the day, we will all be impacted, um, whether we are a part of the industry or not, by what fossil fuels are doing. And I think it's critical for us as Belizeans of today and, and future Belizeans to have collective, transparent, um, well-informed deliberations before we, we decide to go down that road, because it is imperative that we reconcile, we will all be impacted by it. But will there be a referendum to decide future offshore exploration? Or were all these signatures in these big blue boxes collected in vain? Jo Marie Lanza, 7 News.